Hey there guys, so KSI versus Logan Paul. Now, Logan Paul is going to be trained by Shannon Briggs, who is a former heavyweight champion, while KSI is going to be trained by prospect Vidal Riley, with additional help from Jeff Mayweather, who is part of the Mayweather roster, obviously. Now, Shannon Briggs is a former heavyweight champion, whereas Vidal Riley is going to be only a prospect himself in the corner for KSI. That is why they are bringing in the addition of Jeff Mayweather. But how much bearing on the training camp of KSI he will have, we don't know yet. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it seems like the experience is going to be in Logan Paul's favour because Shannon Briggs is a former heavyweight champion and the game plan he has set out for Logan Paul looks quite promising. He said he's going to keep it long and use Logan Paul's attributes, his physical attributes that he holds over KSI, such as his height and reach. Now, obviously, in boxing, if you can get your jab going, and use your distance and use that height, then the other fighter has to come to you. And that is what Shannon Briggs has explained Logan Paul will be doing. Now, recently at the press conference, which was completely nuts, I've never seen a boxing press conference like it, it was mental. I mean, normally fighters, when they get in that close, someone's going over, someone's getting hit. But they just went at it for 20, 25 minutes straight, which kind of does wonders for the promotion of the boxing match, because... At the end of the day, they are social media influencers. That is their job. Their job is to sell themselves to the audience. And that's what they've done there. Now, just a month later from this fight, this fight will take place on 9th of November. And on the 7th of December, there will be a big heavyweight clash. Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. for the unified heavyweight titles. WBO, WBA, IBF and IBO world titles on the line. And while on Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive, Eddie Hearn explained that he plans to align Logan Paul with Andy Ruiz Jr., the current heavyweight champion, and KSI with Anthony Joshua, the former heavyweight champion, who is fighting to regain his titles that he lost on June 1st at Madison Square Garden. So obviously you have the Brits, KSI, and Anthony Joshua, and you have the Americans, Logan Paul and Andy Ruiz Jr. Although Andy Ruiz Jr. is Mexican-American, but still, that is how they are going to spin this. So that will do wonders for the promotion of the fight also because that is the biggest fight in boxing at the moment, Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. So you have two epic fights within the space of a month, all on the zone. Now, obviously for this fight, there is going to be a back and forth on social media and YouTube videos made about one another in the build up to the fight. Now, I can't imagine we will see too much training footage because they won't want to give too much away. They will keep a lot of that under wraps because anything they do put out there could be dissected and used against them. But the mind games has already begun. Logan Paul has explained that KSI has lost his fire, and there was a noticeable difference from the first fight, and now the first press conference for the second fight. So he believes that he has got KSI beat already. Now in boxing, often when there has been a fight between two fighters before, and they are going into the rematch, the fighter knows really what is going to happen deep down, they know whether they can win or not. And Logan Paul seems to believe that KSI believes that maybe he doesn't have this fight. Maybe Logan Paul is too much for him. Because KSI, as Shannon Briggs, Logan Paul's trainer, explained, KSI is going to have to go to him. KSI is a smaller man. He doesn't have reach on his side. So Logan Paul can jab his way through this fight. So KSI has to close that distance, use his movement in order to get into range so he can land some punches. Because Logan Paul can keep it long and keep KSI away from him. That's what he has to do to win this fight, because he can jab his way to a points decision. That's not what he is going to do, because he has explained he wants to knock KSI out. But that is what he can do, and that is a worry for KSI. He has to close that distance. Now in boxing, footwork is extremely important. It's probably just as important as your hands. So the only way KSI can get into that range is to use his feet. Now obviously, in boxing, your feet should never cross, so he has to be extremely efficient with it. In the first fight, I noticed that KSI was holding his feet a lot, and the problem with that is, when you get countered and your feet are in the same position, the power you receive from the punch is far greater than it would be if you were in a position to take the punch. Now what do I mean when I say hold your feet? Now obviously, with boxing, it's a fluid movement. You have to move your feet and adjust every time you throw a punch. And anytime you are countered, you need to be in a position to retreat and escape the oncoming assault from your opponent. So if he is not constantly adjusting his feet, then the shots that land on KSI will cause more of an effect than they normally would. Now remember, this is 10 ounce gloves. The smaller the gloves, the more power in the punch. And 
no head guard. So not only will the punches be harder, but they will take more of an effect on the fighter that it lands on. Because no head guard means no protection, and smaller gloves means harder punches. So someone is going to get knocked out in this fight, because neither of them has the conditioning or discipline to box their way to a 6 round decision, because this is going to be contested over 6 rounds. But neither of them will be thinking about a points victory, they will be thinking I want to knock this guy out. Now obviously you would have to say the favourite is probably Logan Paul in a straight up shootout, because as I said he has size on his side and his punches seem to be landing a lot harder than KSI's. Now in the first fight KSI was throwing a really long overhand right which seemed to miss quite a bit. He landed it a few times but that was only when Logan Paul got tired. So in this fight he needs to shorten that up, bring it closer, not necessarily just swing for the lights. He's going to have to be a lot more disciplined in this second fight. Now obviously in the build up Logan Paul believes that he will knock out KSI and KSI believes he will knock Logan Paul out. But that won't be the case when they get in there, they will both show respect early on I think. And I think you can expect to see a cleaner fight than the first one. Last time there was head guards, bigger gloves, they were just going at it because a lot of the punches that landed weren't really landing and causing that much of an effect. But in the rematch they will take a lot more of an effect so both fighters will be a bit more cautious because they have never had a professional fight before. So they will want to feel it out, see what it's like to take some leather from the other guy without head guards and with more power in the punches. But anyway guys, who do you have winning this fight and who are you rooting for to win? KSI or Logan Paul? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.